Thank you. So more than 10 years, I'm working on uh, various software projects, big or small, short or long, successful and unsuccessful ones. Um, I always wondered what makes the difference. How can we move from one side to another? So I will tell you a small story. <laughs> We, we have a, one project that we, we usually laugh about, and it's a project for the museums, and it's for the kids. So basically, it's an interactive CD-ROM for the kids, built in 2015 from 2003. <laughs> so I wonder who... Who use it today? Is there an iPad with a CD-ROM reader inside? No. <laughs> so obviously, uh, what was the problem? Uh, the, the interactive CD-ROM was built because it was planned to be built in 2003. So we built it. And can we find this project successful? Uh, no, of course, the client was happy. She, she was uh, uh, trying to deliver it for 10 years. So, but of course, we missed the. <laughs> Please come in. But of course, the project is not successful. We miss the market by, by decades. So that, that's the one simple story, how to miss the market, how to lose the opportunity. So we will talk today about the failures. Uh, it's not easy to talk about the failures, but we should talk about them. <laughs> uh, I, I found some uh, key reasons why companies fail to adopt the agile practices. Uh, we can... We can draw it on one triangle. We can have a three different, different levels. And most of those reasons, uh, we can put them in one of the three categories. But since this is an agile talk, the triangles and the hierarchy, I think we should change that or something else. Uh, so I imagine that let's call it a cake not triangle or pyramid. So we have an agile cake. On the first floor, there is a need. If there is no need to change, we do not see the necessity to change. So there is a lack of awareness or any pain. Why should you change at all? So. Uh, I put there a small eyes. If I cannot see, it's really hard. On the level up, we have a desire. You need to have a heart to be willing to change. That's the tough one. And on the top level of our cake, please join us. On the top level of our cake, there is a ability. You don't have the right instruments, uh, knowledge or right behavior in your company or on your team. So let's do them, these floors, one by one. <laughs> so about the need, so make it chocolate cake. <laughs> If there is no need to change, uh, there are various reasons, excuses, traps, we can call it, uh, we can call it anti-patterns also. So the few, few of them are like those. We are different. Are you really? So you don't have to change? The next one maybe, our customers prefer waterfall. waterfall. 
Yeah. Do you prefer it too? There is also no buy-in from the business. So if you are not supported from the business, probably you will not be successful. Maybe the one which is really interesting is we have not explained the why. So the question you have to ask yourself or somebody, somebody need to explain, why should we change? Maybe, the, maybe I can reference to the uh, first talk, the opening speech, the keynote. Uh, I'm not a technical guy, but what, what really stunned me was that the guy that uh, hold the keynote, he tries and tries and tries the new technology all over again. Started using Ruby two months ago. That's really nice. Someone said, we are agile, but, and then have some excuses, use the frameworks on their own ways or something. So, uh, if you are not able to see, that's the, 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 the other solution to this. You need to believe first, and then you will be able to see. That's the really true. It's not the other way around. One Scrum Master told me that uh, there are two things necessary for adoption to change. People must, have see the, must see the problem, the first one. And the second one, when they see the problem, they need to see, the, to see themselves as a part of the solution. So let's get to, back to the agile cake. So desire. If there is no desire to change, well, this is a tough one also. The all three are. So, some of my favorite. Our egos are more important than the company goals. That's really hard to change. I hope you didn't sew it, but <laughs> if you do, call it. In some companies, managers still assign the work to the team. So, if you are agile, that shouldn't supposed to happen. One of terrible mistakes, fear and intimidation. So people manage and lead by this. I see it all the time, heard the stories. And I suppose you do too. So, the next one may be, it clashes with our business model. So it's hard to change because of our business, so it's hard to tackle and do the work in the other way. So we don't want the change badly enough. And the really important one is also insufficient support from the leadership. They think that this is only development methodology. You choose everyone and no matter what, Scrum, XP, Kanban. So let me give you one example also, which I found re find really interesting. There are superheroes in a company. There is always a resistance to change. So, if there is resistance, it's very hard. Superheroes feel threatened. Uh, they fear that with the collective empowerment of the team, they will lose they, their visibility and their strengths. So you need them on the, your transformation to join your team and join the, join the cause of this transformation. So, 
we have the ability on the top floor. If there is no ability to change, the lack of instruments, very common reasons are it's hard to practice. So do you see the word practice? It's really interesting because Agile is a practice. If you practice anything like playing a musical instruments, uh, ha have a sport, do, do some sports, anything, it's a practice. You need to do it every day over and over and over again. And it's never over. So that is why it's really hard. Not everyone understands it. So we ha if you have a team or a company and someone doesn't understand it, you should solve that. So some say that failure is good for the learning. So really it is, yeah. We should fail and try something else and learn something from it. But this shouldn't be excuse. The next challenge or excuse is there is a too much focus on the mechanics. So if you do any frameworks, you can do daily stand-ups, retrospective, whatever you do, but this, this is not the core of the Agile. Also, someone afraid that reorganization will set us back, and the back, and the back, and the back. So, Please come in, sit down. So, something that we used to see very often is development team don't take the feedback from the customer. It's really important. There are lots of excuses behind it. We are not finished yet. Let them show, sh let them show that the next, the product next week, and the next, and the next, and delays. But uh, the really important is you need to have in mind the inspect and adapt. So you iterate to get feedback and to adjust development efforts along the way. So bear that in mind. So let's get back to Agile Cake. So what about all these categories and excuses? So what we can do with them now, what you can do and try to do? So I have some ideas. <laughs> you can put a checklist and see where are you, where your company is, how your people think where they are, where your company is. So think about that. What needs to be solved? Very hard question. If you go a step further, you can even have some nice graphs about it. So what are your strengths and weaknesses? So <laughs> he showed me the, the, the minutes, so I'm really, really fast, <laughs> a bit nervous. So. Uh, What's the important? The, the important is that Agile really never fails because, as we said, it's a practice. And it simply brings the things that are not right up so you can see them and you can try to do something about them. You can use various tools, Kanban boards, graphs, work in progress limits to see what's tackled what's where the production stacks, velocity charts, etc. So various, various tools. So try a few of them, maybe. So Agile is continuous improving in pursuit for, for perfection. It's really important that it is continuously 
So ask yourself, are you prepared? But if you create an environment of trust and collaboration, people will, will more enjoy their, their work and it could be amazing what really they can achieve. And you remember the story from the beginning about building a CD-ROM, interactive CD-ROM from 2003 to, till, to this year? Yeah, it's a it's really amazing story. But during the development of this interactive CD-ROM, something really strange happens. One planet left the solar system. <laughs> Thanks. That's it. <laughs> okay, thank you, Osram. Please, questions, please raise your hand. I, you I need would, microphone. Because... I have just one more slide so we can then switch to questions. Okay. If you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, I really uh, care about what to read and uh, to find out more. So I prepared just a few links and podcasts. Uh, podcasts are my favorite because uh, when I'm cycling to work, driving a car, waiting on airplane or something. So this agile life is really great. So basically, two guys have lots of fun. Uh, they're really direct. They're, uh, challenge everything, so catch them if you want. So the next one, Scrum Master Toolbox, is uh, I found out about it recently. Uh, it's led by Vasco Duarte, someone who follows the, the Agile community, knows that he's one of the gurus of no estimates. So uh, his short, his uh, Podcasts are really short, just a few minutes, five to ten minutes, really easy to listen. So try it. The next one is uh, Critical Pet. It's, it's amazing, but all the postcards, post, post, <laughs> podcasts sorry, are more than an hour long, maybe some, some two hours. So catch a time, but Critical Pet is great. And a more, more soft one, the Reboot podcast. Reboot is uh, led by Jerry Colonna. Uh, I'm not sure, but a few years ago there was in Croatia, he was guest of the FAIL conference. So Jerry went through, through everything in his life. And really interesting about struggling, about how do you feel, uh, how to fail, how to live through it. The Buddhist geeks are great, something more, I would say, religious, but we will skip that since the code of, code of contact, <laughs> conduct said uh, no religions. <laughs> okay. Blogs, all about Agile is, is great, and uh, I will recommend Mountain Goat from uh, uh, Mike Cohn. It's, it's very basic and simple and try to explain things in in very simple way so the simplicity is is the key so thank you okay thank you uh, so it's time for the questions please raise a hand you need the microphone because you'll be recorded Um, you showed there's some. Uh, you showed the cake, and then you showed that you can tick the boxes and kind of like organize it by the by the three categories. Mm -hmm. Do you think that before you take care of ability, do you need to take care of of uh, yeah? Do you need to take care of desire before ability, and do you need to take care of need before desire? Yeah, like uh, when you tick those boxes, or it doesn't it matter? You just need to work on all three mm -hmm. of them. Doesn't matter in which order. Two things. Yeah. No, thank you, Lev. <laughs> So basically, I thought that uh, this is the the root, the, the 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 basic floor is the need. So you you obviously need to start from here. But uh, when you 
the cake is perfect because you need to slice it from top to bottom, and and I think uh, that's the right way to proceed. <laughs> Thank you. Any more question? Uh, one question is. Um, how you actually deal with the resistance in company when it comes to the, you know, transforming <laughs> to the agile development? How you get the superheroes on your side and other people, managers, clients, how you teach them this is the best way? How you help make them uh, live the agile and practice it? <laughs> That's the toughest one, yeah. So. Development team, the, the first. You, you need to see what they are thinking. What You need to first be a good listener, maybe, and keep your mouth shut. And try to see what, why do they think that way. Uh, le sometimes just leave, leave the things uh, maybe I can uh, say one story. <laughs> uh, to explain it. Since we have time, it's, I suppose it's okay. Uh, yeah, we have time. Yeah. Uh, the development team is a is, is very tough one because uh, you need to have good relationship with them. So, uh, if they are not ready to accept something, they will bounce you back. So you need to be there, present, uh, listen to them, trying to find the right moment. And uh, maybe about superheroes in your team. So I, I think that... Uh, Uh, eventually, some of them will will go away or will, will not be happy about it. But uh, I think that you should try, not just yourself, but with other your colleagues also. So uh, to to work on some kind of. Uh, joint goal that we all share some common values and common uh, some common goal that we are aiming to so uh, if they are not seeing that goal so sometimes it's time to split so if that answers your question <laughs> But it's it's really hard. It really depends where you are, where 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 they are in in in, in understanding of agile practices and what they are think about that. If so, it really depends from team to team. So you need to know your team very well. So as some kind of. A, change agent you you you, uh, you are a bit agent is a bit strange word but somehow suits okay we have time for one more question Hi. Um, Hi. So basically, can you go two slides back? Yes. Uh, one more. This one. This. Yeah, yeah. So agile never fails. It's yes. always the right choice, and organization. It's it's the organization's fault because when they try to implement it, it failed. Is that the conclusion? Because agile never fails. So could you please explain a bit more? 
So is the conclusion, this is the, uh, the summary, I'm guessing, this mm -hmm. slide is the summary. It says that yes. Agile never fails and it's the organization's fault because it, they didn't succeed with Agile. It is organization's fault. No, no, it's... Uh, Agile brings you the problem on the top. So they will, like, show themselves. So if you uh, are with the good practices, so uh, if you use the right tools and uh, try to manage it. So uh, <laughs> when the problems are visible, the, then it is uh, really hard to uh, pick the right one to tackle and to, to solve them. So, uh, but I cannot say that it is organiza organizational fault, but uh, <laughs> who is organization? Organization is uh, uh, that, that, that are the people. So. There is no organization to blame, so it's about us.